Welcome to Dollar Store Gaming. This is Seller. It is normally 99 cents. I purchased it for 76. Got kind of a pixelated horror vibe going. Uh, let's see what it's like. Let's go. This could be the room of any small girl, but it just so happens to belong to a girl named Lily. Oh, okay. So Lily is setting out to find her missing stuffed animal with a lantern. Oh, what? Oh, it's on a grid. Okay, so hit left once, right once. So the game's on a grid. Pretty sure Lily is like 42 years old, judging by that picture. So, we're in the cellar, I guess. I'm getting real... Chips Challenge vibes from this. There should be a key here somewhere. I got an achievement for that. Oh, come on. Okay, the giant key... Hi. You know, if you want to make a real horror game, maybe don't use the wah-wah sound effect. Okay, now I grab it, and this time walk away from... <laughs> I'm not sure I like this thing. What do you mean that was close? He was very clearly walking through the door, whatever. You know, I can't help but feel that the game would be a little more tense if I could move in every direction. Because as it stands now, it feels very limiting, but not in a good way. Okay. Oh, puzzle solving. If I go up this way, I'm gonna break that ground, and I want to go straight down. So, let's take the scenic route. I'm starting to get a bit of a sense of deja vu here from these levels. What? Ah, oh, steam. I feel like this would actually be scarier if that monster was a... Uh, little creepy- oh, hello. I didn't mean to insult you. I'm sorry, everything's fine. Okay. I feel like this game doesn't exactly know what it wants to be. Like, it's kind of dark and creepy and really atmospheric. But then when I, you know, when the monster shows up, it's just kind of cutesy. I mean, listen to the music and look at the monster. That's not really in- oh god. It's kind of an awkward juxtaposition of styles, and I'm not quite sure it works. Hi? They are not fuzzy wuzzy indeed. What am I even looking at? Is that a bean with robot arms? That's what it looks like. So, games like this could work. I, I can't really fault the game for being quite limited, just because, I mean, you know, a dollar. But even if it's limited, the gameplay has to at least be a little exciting to want to, you know, keep me playing. And right now, it just isn't. There is an airplane, though. That's, that's pretty good. Does it have eyes? Oh, it does have eyes. Oh, it's a cute little demon? Question mark? Again, you know, I kind of thought that the game was going for a more creepy vibe, but I guess it's going for more... wacky? I'm not sure it works. So, the question is, is Cellar worth 76 cents? Um... This is a tough one. On one hand, yeah, it's only 76 cents, but I go into this trying to just review it as a game, and the fact is I'm not entertained right now. It's competent. You can, you know, the controls, which are just up, down, left, right, work fine. Although being locked to a grid does take away from a lot of that uh, style. The big problem I have is just, I don't know what the game wants to be. You know, is it horror? Is it comedy? Is it wacky? Is it, you know, tongue-in-cheek? Is it supposed to be serious? It's a weird mishmash that some games could pull off, but this one just... doesn't. So, if you want a quick little puzzle game, I guess, with, you know, random smatterings of action, then go ahead and pick up Cellar. But if you, you know, to be fair, you've pretty much seen the whole game already. The beans keep changing color, is, is that a thing? Is that a part of this gameplay?